got caught out then not watching the timer. Right, so let's look at the bottom line then. So I've said that 3 is the same as a quarter of 2 to the power 4 minus 3 times 2 squared plus C2. So what have we got there then? So 2, 4, 8, 16, so that's 4. 4 minus 12 is minus 8. So that's going to give me 11, isn't it? Yeah. 11 is C2. There. Right, so those constants now I'm going to put into my equation. So I'm going to put a little bit more. But I want that. I want that to see the equation. So R is 8t minus t squared plus c1, which is minus 10. And then I've got a quarter, t to the 4, minus 3t squared plus 11. So that's my general, that's my equation for my motion. But then it says in the question, find, show that when t is 4, I've got that answer out. So let's just, should it, underneath it, go down a little bit further. So when t is 4, r is 8 lots of 4 minus 4 squared minus 10. Uh, what's that going to be? 8, 16, 16, is that going to be 6? Is that what it wants? No, I'm just sure it's 10. Have I got something wrong there? Uh, hang on. I've got a why have I put a minus there on that minus t squared when it's a plus? Oh, you donkey, you can't even copy. There, that's a plus. There you go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Uh, I should have paused it because I think I've gone wrong. No, I haven't. I was just looking at the, um, the wrong. I was looking all the way up at the. See all the way up here where that 10 3 was. I was thinking that was the answer. Right, and so the next line down, then the bottom line, uh, and that this matches what I've done here, matches what's in the completed pack. So that definitely gives me the 3827 as I wanted it. So that's worked wonderfully there. Right, so let's go back up to the top of the page up here to see. My god, how much work did I do? Right, C says, find the value of T for which the particle is directly above um, the origin. So if you think about that, that's its position. It's not the, where it's moving, it's its position. Now, if it's directly above the origin, then I'm saying that the I component is equal to zero. So where was that big equation we had then? Uh, there it is, 8t plus t squared minus 10. So 8t plus t squared minus 10 is equal to 0. So what I've got, so t squared plus 8t minus 10 is equal to 0. You stick that into poly, you get minus 9.099, or t equals 1.099. I want t is greater than 0 because I'm not time travelling. Uh, so t is 1.099. There you go. Moral. Right, so I think that one's done. There's a question for you on the next page, which I will reveal. And you can see what they've done with the constants, how they split it up. They've just got this constant at the end, instead of having like a, a plus c1 and a plus c2. Please don't do it that way. It's very, very confusing. And really, look, they should have underlined that because it was a vector. Top, top, top. Right, so there we go. There's uh, that one done. Um, I'll do the exact example on a separate thing now.